how my business got started was uh, strictly, it, it was all God. I can tell you that right now. It had nothing to do with me. Uh, I, I was working for this particular company uh, approximately 10 years ago. I'd worked for it for just a couple of years. Uh, a guy came to the door one day, said after 16 years he was going to close his business. Uh, wanted me to be the first to know, keep my mouth shut, don't tell nobody, don't tell no customers, don't tell no employees. But need, you need to try to find something else. I wasn't worried about finding anything else. I figured I could find a job anywhere uh, in this town because uh, I don't know my work ethic. Uh, I wasn't worried about working. Uh, or he said that he can buy me out. Uh, and I, I was making $17 an hour. I couldn't buy no business. And uh, he said, well, why don't you go ask this guy? And it was a customer of his. Uh, that we did a lot of work for. I, I thought that was insane uh, to go ask his customer if I could borrow this much money to buy his business. I can tell you that uh, two years prior to that, I took two walk-in closets uh, for that same customer and made a big bathroom in his house, uh, physically out there in the, uh, in the world working for a living. When I got done with that, he had asked me how long I'd been working for this guy. I said about a month. He asked me what I was getting paid. I told him I'd get paid $15 an hour. He said, I'll offer you a job. I'll give you $1,000 a week under the table. You come to work for me, but I uh, you do my stuff. I own some buildings, I own some houses. I turned that down because I was trying to do some things different in my life. I told him that's stealing, uh, that I'm not, that's not my customer. Uh, so I turned that job down. My wife thought I was crazy. A lot of friends thought I was crazy. A lot of people thought I was crazy, but I was just trying to do some things different. Uh, and for me to go and to try to steal another man's customer, that was stealing as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it comes full circle. He says, let me ask him for you. And so uh, we went to you know, talk to him, and the guy asked me, uh, are you going to be able to pay this back, Rick? I said, I don't know. I've never ran a business, never had a business, don't know how to run a business. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've had a couple of guys work up underneath me from time to time, but I don't know that I can pay you back. Uh, I said, but I do know this. I said, there's not a man in the Abilene that worked me because people's work ethic in Abilene sucks. He goes, oh, it does. I said, there's not a man in the Abilene that worked me because I believe that. He picked the phone up, he called the bank, he told him to give me two cash checks. He goes, go pick them up, bring him one back, let's sign the papers, we'll worry about the finances later. That's how I got business. I think it has something to do with me not taking this job. That's how I got started. And today is a lot different. It's, it's, it's a blessing. It really is. So. Anyway, that's how I got started. Thank how long ago was that? Ten years. Ten years. Yeah, I feel a little bit different today. I mean, I had about four or five guys that worked for me then. We've got about 25 people on payroll now. We do between two and three million dollars a year. So just try to do a good job, be honest. You know, if you can't help you, direct you to someone who can. So just be a service to, to y'all. Y'all are not a service to me, I'm a service to you. So.